Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this really cool looking orange teal look combined with a soft summer look. And this is an effect with, which is nowadays all over the place, this orange teal look. And I thought this is really cool for this image, but with a really soft summer look. And so let's start and let's jump in. The first step we have to do, we have to create this orange teal look. And there are several methods to create this look. One method I show you right now is created with a channel mixer, uh, with a channel mixer adjustment layer. And we are going to create one. Just click on the icon and we have to change the blue channel. So in the blue channel, I'm going to type in for the reds minus 50 and for the greens, 150 and the blues all the way down to zero and as you can see we have now uh, here the, the blue colors are much stronger and we have here this orangey teal look which we are looking for and to enhance this effect a little bit more we need something else a gradient layer and for this I'm going to add a gradient layer I'm going to the gradient here and I choose a two colored gradient in this one in this case because here the orange is in the gradient so I have only to change the lilac. So I want here a really mm, soft blue something like that should be okay and I click okay and okay and now I'm going to change the angle to about minus now let's go with minus 40 or so so that the blue is beginning on the upper left corner and goes straight down to the orange on the lower right corner and now I click OK and I'm going to set the blend mode to soft light and this effect is a little bit too strong so i'm going to lower the opacity to about let's go with about 20 25 percent or so now we have a, it's a little bit enhancing the look and this is exactly what i'm looking for but now i want to have it a little bit brighter uh, a little bit more warm uh, really bright summary look. So I'm going to add a level adjustment layer and I bring this white slider here just a little bit to the left. As you can see, now we lift the highlights and I think this should be really okay here. This is this does the job and that's it for the level adjustment. And now I want to adjust the the orange and the the overall orange teal look again and for this I'm going to add a curve adjustment layer and in the red channel I am just clicking in the center and bring the reds just a little bit up uh, above the diagonal line here and for the greens I'm doing this the same as well so let's go with greens just a little bit like that. Okay. And for the blues, I'm going to lower it here at the dark tones, just like that. So now we have a much stronger orange tea look. Now um, I want to have. Um, a little bit more contrast, a little bit more contrasty look. For that, I'm going to add a gradient map. And I'm going to reverse that. And now I'm going to bring this to a blend mode of soft light. And it's yeah, it's much too strong. It gives me 
gives me a warm summary look, but it's too strong. For that, I'm going to lower the opacity to about 20% or so. Let's go with that. Yeah, it's looking really, really good. As you can see, these are only really small enhancements, but it every layer helps to get the look. Okay, and now I want to have a little bit of the, the details back because it's a little bit washed out. And for that, I need to merge all the layers as a copy. For that, I'm pressing Shift, Control, Alt, and E. And then I'm going to Filters, Others, High Pass Filter. And I'm going with a real small radius of about mm, 1.5 to 2 pixels and click OK. Now I'm going to uh, change the blend mode to soft light. And as you can see, now we have a little bit more contrast in the image. It's really a small uh, effect, but it's there. It helps to bring the details a little bit back. And now we have to bring in these, uh, like in the original image, as you can see, we have here these, these speckles, this bulky effect here. And for that, I have here a bulky image. This I have created in the free software Blender and I'm going to use that. So I'm going to add it to my image here and I'm going to uh, bring it down to the size of the, of the image here. So let's go down and here as well and bring it in. It doesn't really matter if it's a little bit distorted it doesn't it, I do not really care about that. So now I'm going to change the blend mode for that to screen. And now we have these bulky speckles all over the place. And because I don't want to have it strong like that, I'm going to uh, lower the opacity to about oh, let's go let's go with that. Let's go with 37%. Now I'm adding a layer mask to it because I want to hide a little bit of the bokeys. I don't need them here on the on the C. I don't need it here. I just want it so that they appear only here where the bright parts are. So I'm going to use a really uh, big brush, a uh, really soft brush. So I'm really choosing a soft brush. And with a really big size, I'm going to black with a black color. Uh, I choose a black color here, and I'm going over the image and I remove the bokeys where I don't want it. So let's go with that. And I think that's that's really cool. Maybe I load the opacity of the the brush a little bit, bring it a little bit down from the size and I'm going over the model a little bit just to don't have these speckles here on the legs. So and now um, we are going to add some more. Uh, now I want to have a lens flare effect because I want this to have here really bright because here is the position of the sun somewhere here, but I want to have it here a little bit brighter, which is coming from here, the light, and uh, gives it this really dreamy look. So I'm going to combine this, all of these elements again, all of the layers. So I'm pressing Shift, Control, Alt, and E again. And now I'm going to add a lens flare. So I'm going to filter, um, render, and lens flare. And I'm choosing a lens type of 105 millimeter prime and a brightness of about 130. I have done this tutorial before, um, like every tutorial I do it one, one time uh, before I do the video. So I have here all the settings. So the position of the sun is about here and then I click OK. And there we are. This uh, is 
Now the effect, as you can see, we have this really bright light that's coming in. We have this orange teal look here all over the image. And I think this is a real cool look, which enhances this image really perfectly. So thanks for watching. And if you like my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a comment, give me a thumbs up. Everything helps, which uh, makes me happy. Uh, to produce more tutorials. Okay, again, thanks for watching and bye.